Hello and welcome to my Connectify tutorial. Connectify is a program that allows you to rebroadcast or share a Wi-Fi signal. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you've already downloaded Connectify and you know exactly what it does, but you're getting this error message when you click on Start Hotspot, and that error message says could not stop Start Hotspot because of invalid settings. Now, if you don't have Connectify, I'll provide the download link to download this program. Um, but let's just say that you do have it and you're getting this error message. I'm going to go over the settings and some reasons for why you might be getting this message and how to correct it so that you can use Connectify. Now I'll close out of here. The first thing that I'm going to show you is in the settings. Now scroll all the way down to the bottom in this advanced settings window. Click on this little blue arrow to expand it and click on sharing mode, this drop down menu. Now you can see on mine I have Wi-Fi ad hoc open, Wi-Fi ad hoc encrypted. Now if you see the exact same options, only these two, the problem is that our wireless cards are out of date and we don't have uh, the correct driver installed to allow us to perform the function that Connectify does which is rebroadcast the signal. Now if you do have another option which would be called AP access point open or AP access point encrypted select one of those name your network give it a password if you choose to have it encrypted Wi-Fi Wi-Fi and then start hotspot you probably won't get this message now let's just say that you're in the same boat as me and you click on sharing mode and you only have ad hoc open ad hoc encrypted now what we need to do is we need to update our wireless cards driver and so you might be wondering well how do I know what kind of wireless card I have well the easiest way to find out what kind of wireless card you have I think on Windows 7 is to hit the start button down here type in device manager and then just either click on it or enter and scroll down to network adapter and you can click on this little arrow on the left hand side to expand that folder and, and here's where we'll find our wireless card and this is one way to update our wireless cards driver so it's not bluetooth device it's not the intel gigabit it's the intel wi-fi link 5100 now you might have broadcom realtek um, theros those are all popular brands now we can double click on that to open up the properties box and from here we can take this information here the name of our wireless card and we can go to this page on Connectify's website now I will provide this link so that you can easily get to this page and this is the is my Wi-Fi card supported page now on this page you can see a list of Wi-Fi cards that are supported so here is mine actually Intel Wi-Fi link 5100 so my Wi-Fi card is supported but I don't have the latest driver but let's just say that your card isn't listed in this list we can scroll down to the bottom and we can see if our card is listed under this list and now if your card is in this list right here so let's say you have the Intel Pro Wireless unfortunately you will not be able to use Connectify with Windows 7. Um, Connectify considers these cards as um, abandoned by the manufacturers as far as updates for Windows 7. So unfortunately if you if you see your card listed here um, you're out of luck for Windows 7. But let's just say uh, that your card is listed here um, and it's still not working. So I'll show you what I need to do and you need to follow these steps but with your card. So here's my card Intel 5100. Now before I click here to download the driver that they've provided, I'll first go back to Device Manager and I'll go, I'll double click on my Wi-Fi card and I'll click on the Driver tab and I can update the driver. In many cases it'll come back and it'll say, well the best driver software is installed. Um, and simply it just isn't finding uh, the latest driver and this isn't accurate. Well X out of here and we'll go back to this page like I said that I'll supply the link for the is my Wi-Fi card supported and we'll find our our wireless card in this list here's mine I'll click here and I'll just go ahead and download the driver um, and, I'll, and I'll run this driver update for my computer and then once I do that 
you'll be able to see under sharing mode Wi-Fi AP access point. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and at least informative. Let me know if it worked. Um, if it didn't work, I'm sorry. I hope your wireless card was supported. If it doesn't work, um, there is one thing that you could do to get around this. You could just simply buy a new wireless card that's that plugs into your USB. Um, and you could plug your new wireless card through your USB and then you'd be able to use Connectify.